Hello, this is the Glass Tower Top 5. Right now is Wednesday, November the 9th. It's the day after the election. And we're shooting this video for Thursday, the week of Thursday, November the 10th. So we've got some really nice art events that will have good art mm -hmm. and good people all around the state of Texas. And we think that that would be a great way to spend your weekend. Number five is the East Austin Studio Tour in Austin. So Big Medium puts this on every year. Open studios, open galleries, pop-up shows, performances, a little bit of everything. There's going to be another community breakfast kicking it all off this year. And there's over 500 stops on the tour. And it's a treasure hunt and it's fun and there are real gems yeah. to be found. The main uh, location is Canopy, which is where Big Medium's you know, offices or headquarters are, yeah. and a bunch of the studios. And we were there last year. It was so fun. I don't know if the Free Beer podcast guys will be out, but they're fun. And there was performances, and it was just a really, really nice event. Number five is Ulterior Motifs number 15 in Splendora. So for those of you who do not know, Splendora, and they're calling it Splendora Gardens now, was the studio of James Searles and Charmaine Locke before they moved to Colorado like two decades ago or yeah. some odd. Anyway, Jeff Wheeler from Lubbock has, um, I think, taken over as manager, and he's going to be running shows out of there. Yeah. And so this is Ulterior Motifs number 15, which is their 15th um, year of their group show that they've done in Lubbock. So it will be a big, warm-hearted group show with a lot of artists from Lubbock, artists from San Antonio. There's going to be music. And there's a film there too, right? Yeah, yeah. so on Sunday the 13th, James Searles and Charmaine Locke are going to speak about their time at Splendora and present a screening of a new documentary, kind of chronicling their life and work. Mm -hmm. Number three this week, it's a show called Clockworks and it's Jeff Shore and John Fisher at McLean Gallery in Houston. So Shore and Fisher collaborate on weird object machines. There's a Rube Goldbergian quality to their work, although it's not about movement so much as it is these wall sculptures with exposed wires and exposed hardware. And there's always some like magical little element of discovery in it. These works, it's called Clockworks, and this is using those old-fashioned analog, you know, clocks flip that clocks. flip clocks, um, like from the movie Groundhog, Groundhog Day. Day, yes. I don't think they've ever used Clockwork before, and mm -hmm. so I'm interested to see what they will do with this, how they will play with the notion of time and the clocks. Number two this week is in San Antonio, and it's Luminaria. So it's going to run from November 9th through the 12th, and there's a little bit of everything. There's going to be dance, poetry, video projections. There's actually a mural unveiling mm -hmm. where some artists are donating murals to the city. A number of the events are ticketed, but a majority of them are actually free. I spoke to the organizer, Ethel Shipton, last weekend, and she was telling me it was coming together really beautifully and was going to be a great event. What's cool about it is it's not just visual artists, it's performers and musicians and filmmakers. So it's kind of like the larger San Antonio art scene, both visual and performing arts, all coming together and having a festival. So it, it's interdisciplinary. It's, inter it's interdisciplinary. And number one this week is Lawndale Live at Lawndale. So this is a television show. It's going to be a talk show filmed in front of a live audience, and they're doing an episode every week. Maurice Duhon Jr. is the host, and he's actually also the artist Pay Me the Clown. Philip Pyle II is going to be the director. Stephen Wilson is the set designer, and Jawad Taylor is the music director. So they've got like quite a professional crew. And they have a good lineup the show. too. Yeah. You know, Jawad is the musical director, but you know, there's also going to be music guests like Jawad will do some of it. Uh, DJ Good Grief is going to come in, mm -hmm. Fat Tony. So it's a lot of people who are really integral to the Houston music scene. And then for guests, you know, there's Emily Peacock, Patrick Renner, Gonzo, former Mayor Anise Parker. Mm -hmm. So they really have a star-studded lineup. And the best thing is, since it's like a talk show, even if you're not in the audience, everything will be filmed and it'll be available online later. Yeah. Hopefully everybody can get out there and see some art and be with other people and be out in the community and have a good weekend.